Hi, Greg DeRocher from Safe Ride for Kids here. Today I wanted to talk to you about the difference between the Ride Safer 2 and the Ride Safer 3. The Ride Safer 2 comes with a top tether and a crotch strap. The tether attaches to the two shoulder clips here on the shoulders. Both the Ride Safer 2 and the Ride Safer 3 come with this optional uh, detachable head, uh, head neck rest for the kids. So the Ride Safer 2 is designed and crash tested, certified to be used with a lap only belt. So the Ride Safer 2 would be used if you were using a lap only, uh, lap only seat belt seating position, you would have to use the top tether which would then provide the vehicle, uh, provide the upper body restraint when the opposite end is attached to the vehicle's tether anchor point. If their vehicle does not have a tether anchor point, go ahead and watch our video on the energy absorbing tether anchor loop accessory. The tether can also be used in addition to the lap and shoulder belt. So if you have the lap and shoulder belt, you can use the tether in addition to that it has been crash tested that way and what that offers is a little bit of restraint for the one shoulder that's not being restrained by the vehicle's uh, shoulder belt harness and as I mentioned the ride safer 2 comes with a crotch strap which is covered in the other video but it's essentially there to help keep the back of the vest low on the child uh, pulled down uh, but what we've done with our kids is just taught them to pull the back of the vest down like this. Now the Ride Safer 3, uh, due to customer demand, the manufacturer made a, a one significant change. The Ride Safer 3 also comes with the head neck pillow, just like the Ride Safer 2. The significant difference here is that the Ride Safer 3 has these adjustable straps on the back of the vest. Now these are designed to adjust the, the, the fit of the vest on the child here in the shoulder. But that is strictly a comfort feature. If you notice, the distance between the lap clips and the shoulder clips doesn't change no matter what you do with the back of the vest. So this is the important part for making sure that the shoulder, or that the lap and shoulder belt is properly positioned on the child. The Ride Safer 3 cannot be tethered so if there's any possibility that the child's going to be in a lap only belt, uh, maybe on vacation or something like that, or if you uh, decide that you don't want the added support of that extra sh the opposite shoulder being restrained with the tether, then the Ride Safer 3 might be an option for you. Both vests are exactly the same otherwise. Uh, they both have the energy absorbing uh, panels in the front of the vest that absorb the crash energy of the seatbelt as it crosses the child's body. They're both clip, they're both adjustable uh, for, the for the child's uh, body size, just like that, and uh, all other ways. So hopefully that answers all your questions about the difference between the Ride Safer 2 and the Ride Safer 3. If it doesn't, go ahead and visit our website ridesafertravelbest.com and if you have any questions uh, in the bottom right hand corner there's a chat box and you can chat with us or you can find our contact information for email or phone call. We'd love to hear from you and answer all your questions.